Lone Wolf by Sarah Kirpiel. Maple loved being the Parker family dog. Every day she played tug of war with Jax, read with Avery on the couch, and tricked mom and dad into giving her extra treats and taking her on extra long walks. But on her walks, people would say, dude, that dog looks like a wolf. Are you sure she's not part wolf? Wolf! 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 The Parkers tried to explain that Maple was not, in fact, a wolf. Eventually, though, even Maple had her doubts. She looked more like a wolf than all the other dogs. She could hunt like a wolf, howl like a wolf, and dig like a wolf, too. Maybe she was a wolf, and wolves belong in the wild, not in houses or dog parks, not in couches or sidewalks. So one day, when the fence was open just an inch, for just a moment, an inch and a moment was all it took. But out in the wild, the ground was tougher than Dad's flower garden. Squirrels were harder to hunt than Avery's flip-flops. And the perfect tug-of-war stick was just a stick if Jax wasn't on the other end. Would Mom even hear her if she howled? Maple didn't want to be a wolf anymore. Then she remembered it was time for her evening walk. Maple never missed a walk, so she followed her nose out of the woods and through the neighborhood, and on her walk she found... her pack. Some people still thought Maple was a wolf, but Maple knew who she really was. She was a Parker, and she was right where she belonged. Nibbles, A Green Tale by Charlotte Middleton If there was one thing Nibbles loved more than soccer, it was eating dandelion leaves. He ate dandelion leaves at breakfast time, at lunch time, and at dinner time. And if Nibbles felt hungry between meals, he ate more dandelion leaves. But it was not just Nibbles who liked dandelion leaves. Mr. and Mrs. Nibbles liked them. His sister liked them. His friends liked them. In fact, every guinea pig in Dandeville loved dandelion leaves. All day long, the happy sound of munching and nibbling filled the air. Until, that is, dandelion leaves began to run out. Dandelion dishes were taken off the menu and dandelion drinks disappeared from the shelves. The last few leaves could be bought on the internet 
for a huge amount of money. Soon the worst thing imaginable happened. All over town the dandelions had been munched to nothing more than bitten down stalks and the guinea pigs had to make do with chewy cabbage instead. Just one dandelion was left, but nobody knew about it except Nibbles. It happened to be growing right outside his bedroom window. Nibbles' mouth watered at the sight of it, but he knew he must not eat it or let anyone else eat it, not if it was the last dandelion in town. It might even be the last dandelion in the whole world. He thought hard and decided to go to the library. He borrowed a book called Everything You Need to Know About Dandelions, and he read it very carefully. He found a little cover to protect his dandelion, and every day he watered it and picked off the bugs. Every day he was very good about not taking even the tiniest nibble while he waited and waited and waited. Until finally his dandelion had grown the most beautiful white head of tiny seeds. Very gently, Nibbles picked it up and carried it all the way up Daisy Chain Hill. When he reached the top, he had just enough puff to take a breath and blow. The seeds filled the air and landed gently all over Dandeville. At first, nobody noticed, but soon the new plants started to sprout fresh leaves. And in no time at all, Dandeville was filled with the happy sound of munching once more. As for Nibbles, he still loves playing soccer. But now, there's something he loves just as much as eating dandelions. Nibbles loves growing them.